I know I was fighting this at, at my, in my school system too at uh, Kilgore ISD. They did end up deciding in the, in the end to write their own curriculum, which I was excited about. And some of the questions that I was asking them um, at the different board meetings, because this was over several months that we were debating this, was um, what else have the ESC, what other options have they suggested to you as a board? And they're not, the ESCs are just pushing this C-scope. So my, I have a request that I wanna ask you. I understand that the Sunset Review was pushed back on the ESCs. I'm not really sure how that happened, how that came about, but it was supposed to be sooner. And because of all of this um, unethical stuff that has come about, because of what was presented at the hearings when they were discussing the CISCO, I feel that it is warranted that that Sunset Review be moved back up. That needs to happen, and I, wonder how we can do that. Are you making notes of this, please? Okay. Could you, could you Background? make the yes. sunset review sooner? Yes, yes and yes. What happened, to the best of my knowledge, and I unfortunately probably should have micromanaged this, but I didn't. Uh, the last thing I knew in April was that the, the sunset review for the Education Service Centers was going to be in 2015 which is the, the next legislative session, right around the corner. I it got pushed back to 2017. Yes, ma'am, it did. Yes, ma'am, it did. Well, actually, it's 2019, I, I believe. So we got pushed back, and that was an agreement Senator Dan Patrick had done with the um, Education Service Centers. Never talked to me. Never talked to senators. Can you fix that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we can fix that. Um, as soon as we go back, when we go back into special session, if we go back in sometime in the next six months, nine months, mm -hmm. uh, to on the school finance lawsuits where a third of the school districts are suing the state because we're not giving them enough money, uh, when we go in on that, uh, or the sooner of, the sooner of then or in January of 2015, go ahead and include uh, a revision to our sunset to go ahead and put them in right away. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I think they need to. We, um, I have not gotten the information from the state auditor yet, uh, but I can get you that information. I can talk to uh, John Keel and try and get that information for you uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, the best I can do, and I, and I can call you and I can call Alice, if I call Alice and she can distribute it, is find out where we are in that audit. I just want to make a comment. Yes, what was it last Thursday when Michael Williams put out the whole no common car mm -hmm. press release? Mm -hmm. Then what did I see on Saturday? Was it Bennett Ratliff or was it Michael Williams? I don't even remember. Both of their names was in it. They were talking about um, all their excitement about the district in question being an AP national, you know, advanced place. Well, the AP is aligned to the common core. David Coleman, Obama's appointee, did that. So. You can't, one thing on Thursday and then the other on Saturday. And that just stands out, you know, quite officially. 